Konnichiwa, this is your boy Mass Luciano and today I'm going to be doing my top 25 best games of all time. Well, if you're wondering, a lot of games are debatable. Like, like there's a lot of good games, of course. Like, like in the past, like we got the golden age of uh, the golden age of games, of course, and like you know we got like the classics and all stuff. Like, there's a lot of ga good games that should be mentioned, of course. Like that revolutionized the gaming world and all stuff. Like, there's a lot of games. But anyway, if you're wondering, let's start. Let's start with honorable mentions. But by the way, if you're wondering, this is my opinion, this video. I, I respect, if you guys get pissed off, I understand. I, it's my opinion. I respect your opinions. But like, there's some other games that you guys are going to be recommending me to make, recommending me to play. And all that stuff. But I do want to play them. But I never played them before. But I do want to play them. Because there's some good games. Like, for example, like... Like, have you played this game? And I was like, no, I didn't play it, but I heard of it, but I really want to play it. But anyway, I'm, but if you guys got any games in the, in the comment section down below, if I make another best games of all time, like, I was thinking of making 100 games if I play more games, if I play more games and all stuff. But, like, if you guys got any, any, any games that I should play, just tell me, okay? Because, and there's all the games, other games that I do want to play as well. But anyway, here we go. First one I will mention is... Pure is pure. It's a racing game, of course. It was a fun game when it released. It's one of the best game, one of the best racing games I've played. Like when it comes to ATVs and all that stuff. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's just that I love the graphics, the soundtrack, the gameplay. It's just really solid. Love the tricks. Love the characters. Love you could cu create, customize your ATV, build your own ATV. It's just really, really fun. So much fun. Like the maps, of course. So much fun. Love that game. Love Pure. But, and it's also... Uh, I guess it's one of the easier games to get uh, uh, achievement points, I guess. Probably easier. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. The next game is... The, the next honorable mention is Watch Dogs 2. Love this game so much. It's a hacking game. It's like GTA, but hacking. Love this game. It's, a, it's an improvement on the first game. Like, to graphics, controls, the gameplay... It's an improvement on it. Love that you can do a lot of things. Of course, that you do a lot of other things. Like you go get get go to gang hideouts and like do a lot of cool stuff. Get, upgrade your skills. Of course, it's so much fun. This game. Love its graphics, gameplay, open world. So much fun. I love. I'm a huge fan of open worlds. Love that game so much. The next game is Enslaved Odyssey to the West. If you're wondering, it's an underrated game. So much fun. Love this game so much. One of my favorite underrated games of all time. Please play this game if you guys have an Xbox One or 360. It's just that star. I love the star power, writing power, acting power, power. Andy Circus was in this game. He acted monkey. I just love its high gripping adventure. It's like a mix between an a post apocalyptic world with Uncharted, kinda. The Last of Us. It's so much fun, this game. Please play this game. It's so much fun. Love you can cuss Like, I just love you can upgrade your skills. Love, I just like its soundtrack. It's gameplay. It's so solid. Love this game so much. I highly recommend you getting this game. Anyway, next game is Saints Row 4. Well, Gata Hell's not on this list. That not gonna add Gata Hell's. Okay, but Saints Row 4. Love this game. It's really wacky. One of my favorite games of all time. It's just that it's like it's like a mix between it's like wacky GTA. It's like a mix between GTA with Infamous. Like I just really like you can use powers, like customize your character. I think you can customize your weapons. I think you can. I, I don't know. But I'm not a huge fan of the aliens part. I just really like you do a lot of things on this list uh, on this game. Like the oh, I love the open world. It's just crazy, this game. Definitely worth the wait. Get this game. So much fun. I love the gameplay and the soundtrack. It's just really fun. Anyway, next on our mention is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Deluxe. Really, really fun Mario Kart games. One of my favorite Mario Kart games, if you're wondering. Oh, also, I also... Wait, what was the other Mario Kart game I played on the NES thing? It was also called... It was Super Mario Kart, I think. That was also really fun. It's a classic. I also love this one. I just really love the gameplay, soundtrack, AI, 
It's really colorful, very, very vibrant. Love the soundtrack. They did add more characters, like they added the Isabel, they added Link, and they added Inkling Girl. I mean, Isabel, Link, and Inkling Girl, and the Inklings. Yep, so much fun with that game. Love that game. Anyway, the, the last song I will mention is Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. I love this game. I love this game. One of the best movie games I've played. It's actually the best movie game I've played so far. I only played two game, two movie games. I played this and Disney's Bolt, but on the DS, Disney Bolt was fun. Man, Peter Jackson King Kong is actually the best movie game I've played. Like, I highly recommend you it. Like, it, it, it is outdated. Sure, it is outdated. But, like, the gameplay is so solid. Love the soundtrack. I just really like you can, it, it's just, really, it's very adventurous. I love, like, you can, it's, it, I love it's based, it's based around the movie, of course, which the movie is really good, which is really good. And, like, it's really cool that's really intense that you run away from dinosaurs, all that stuff. It's so much fun. Love that game. Anyway, those are, those are the honorable mentions, and let's get ready for number 25 on this list. Here we go. Number 25 on the list here is Splatoon 2. Whew, man, I really love this game. It's just so colorful and vibrant. Like, it's like Call of Duty with like a mix with like, mixed with like squids and like all that stuff. I just really love its concept. I never played the first one probably. I probably played a little bit. It was also pretty good as well. But Splatoon 2 is better, I gotta say. Like, it's just, I really love it. It's, it's colorful, it's vibrant. It, I just love its gameplay. I just love the sto I just like the story mode. And like, seeing Kelly, Marie, and, and the soundtrack is also amazing. I just, I really love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And Splatoon, and I just really like how, like, I really love the multiplayer. It's really amazing. It's one of my favorite games of all time and also a really great multiplayer game like it's just so much fun like inking and uh, inking inklings and octolings i really love also the dlc which was really really fun as well and like i really love salmon run i really like how you can customize a character all that stuff it's, it's just an amazing game splatoon 2 is amazing one of my one of my favorite games of all time there we go here we go let's do this and number 24. Number 24 on this list is Sunset Overdrive. Oh my lord! This is an underrated game, guys, when it first released. Like, nobody even heard about it and all that stuff. I played it when I got it and all that stuff. When I got it from my uncle. And I love this game. It was so mind blowing. I just love this soundtrack and it's open world. I love its weapons. It's really silly and like it's just I just really like its story mode and its idea and like like you get like you like it's just very hilarious and like you the like you could see like like words when like you when you kill your enemies like for example like you say went like bam like when you when you shoot like out or ouch when you like shoot like the one of the the one of the bad guys in this game and like what else? It's just that it's really hilarious. It's just I love its idea. Uh, it's really colorful, vibrant. This game, one it's like my favorite underrated game of all time. One of my favorite games of all time. It's really fun. I just really like how you like grind, uh, grind, do wall runs and like all that stuff. It's just. It's a hilarious game with funny moments and like it's just I just feel like its story it's really really fun really really fun fun game that's number 24 on the list number 23 number 23 on this list is SSX Tricky probably you guys never heard of that game if, uh, well if you guys are younger than me and also but like someone who's like so around my age or probably a little older, probably you guys heard of that game. An EA game, EA sports game with like, yeah, it's a snowboarding game. It, it's a fun game. It's one of my favorite um, games of all time. 20, uh, 
um, it's just like tricky, and I'm gonna tell you why I love that game so much. It's just that the characters are just so memorable. I really like you could do a lot of tricks on that game. It's really, really fun. I really like the cutscenes. I really like. I, I just really like you could customize a character, do a lot of tricks, and like. And the soundtrack is just so good, so good, and so refreshing. And like, I really like the intro as well. I really, really love the intro on This Is X Tricky. It, it just definitely fits the theme. And like, it's just that, um, I don't know what to say, what else. I just really love the graphics when I played it. The gameplay is just so cool and like so stylish and rad and all that stuff. Man, I love SSX Tricky, and I grew up with that, guys. I grew up with that game. So uh, I grew up with that game. So many fond memories about it. Oh my lord, I really love that game. It's just that I grew up with it. I had a blast when I played it. I played it a bunch of times when I was a kid. When I had my PlayStation Two, of course. Oh man, it it, it just fulfills my heart. I love SSX Tricky. I I highly recommend you go and if you guys got a PlayStation Two. Or whatever it is. It's so much fun. I love that game. I love this sex trick. I could play that any... I played it any day when I had the PlayStation 2. So much fun. Next on the list, number 22. <laughs> number 22 on this list is... Well, this is a bland case. But anyway, here we go. What's inside here is... Oh, my boy, Far Cry 3. With my boy... Boss Montenegro! Oh yeah. This is the best Far Cry game I've played so far. And one of the best games of the last decade, of course. And like... It's one, It's actually... It's one of my favorite games of all time. They didn't mention it of like... Best games of all time, but it, this should have been mentioned on that. And all that stuff. Far Cry 3, I really love this game. Boss Montenegro, one of the best... Villains of all time. Like, it's just so memorable. I love his quotes. I love how he's acted well by Michael Mando. Of course, by the way, he's a Canadian actor. Michael Mando. And I just really like the story. I just really like how it's like... Uh, I just really like how it takes place in the jungle. I really like the soundtrack. It's just really suspenseful and like... And like, very jungly themed or probably, I don't know. But like, I just feel like you can like survive in, in Far Cry, avoiding, avoiding your, uh, avoiding um the pirates getting a, uh, getting the pirates and like being with your crewmate, recruit, being with your, with your, with your team and all that stuff, liberating out, outposts, and like what else? I just really love the get the graphics and the gameplay. It's just I I really like. The the coma the I real I kind of like the coma scenes if you want no, well not the coma scenes like like the weird scenes like like you know where like Citra like blows on you and like like some sort of imaginary things and all stuff I just really like like how uh, how the main characters uh, the main character and and his friends were on an island getting kidnapped um getting attacked by like the pirates and all stuff, getting kidnapped by par pirates and all stuff, and like... It's just that it's so memorable, the villain. I really love the villain, I really love the game. This game's amazing. I, I just love this game, I highly recommend you it. Love you, Boss Montenegro. And, yep, best villain, of all, one of the best villains of all time, Boss Montenegro. But anyway, here we go. Number 21 on this list. Number 21 on this list is Super Mario Maker 2. Oh my lord, this game, I really love this game, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Like, let me tell you something, I never played, I never played, I, I probably played a little bit of Super Mario Maker 1, it was all, it was amazing as well, but Super Mario Maker 2 was an improvement. Like, a lot of levels, a lot of things, and like, like, a lot of challenges, uh, challenges. I really love the mix between, like, like the first Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario uh, Bros. U, and Super Mario 3, 3D World. I just really love how you can play with Luigi, Mario, Toad, um, Toadette, all that stuff, and 
I really like the challenges. The online was also pretty cool. Like, playing a lot of people, uh, playing uh, other people's levels, of course. I just really love it. The graphics, the gameplay, it's really colorful, it's really smooth. 10 out of 10 right there. It's really, really fun. I love this game so much. And, like, I just really like, like, one of the best games of all time, like Super Mario Bros. and, like, Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World are in this game. It's just really, really fun. Really, really, ad uh, ad it's addicting, this game. I And they also included a story mode, which was an improvement, which Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Maker 1 did not had a story mode. This one had a story mode and I'm enjoying the story mode so far if you're wondering on this game. Um Super Mario Maker 2. I highly recommend you if you guys do not have that game. But anyway, here we go. Number 20 on this list. <laughs> Number 20 on this list is Galaga. Oh man, Galaga. Oh, man, that's a classic. It's 10 out of 10. I played that game so many times. My father loves this game. It's one of his favorite games of all time, Galaga. Galaga, I just really love it. It's just that I remember I used to play it in uh, I think the arcade or something when like there was like an arcade machine or whatever it is when I was younger. I don't know. But then when I got when I got Championship Edition two with arcade series, I played a lot of Galaga when I got when I when I when I sometimes go on that game. I played a lot on Galaga because let me do something. It's so much fun. The difficulty spikes. It's just really challenging at times. It's really, it's really fun. I really like, I really like the soundtrack and like, like you shoot a lot of the, uh, the your enemies, of course. It, it was really fun, really addicting. Like, I had so much fun with that game. I don't know. It's really colorful. It's just it was, it was it was one of the great great games on the arcade. It was really really fun. I I had a lot of fun when I play Galaga when I play Galaga on the Pac Man game with the bundle, of course. And like, it's an amazing game, amazing game. It's just love its graphics and gameplay and all. This. I just really love his gameplay and like graphics and like. Oh my god, it's just so, it's just, it was a solid game when it released, of course. But anyway, here we go. Number 19 on the list. Here we go. <laughs> Number 19 on this list has to go for Uncharted 4. Oh yeah. It's a good ending, it's, it's, it's a good ending for, um, for Nathan Drake. It was really fun. Fun. It, it, it was. It's an amazing game. I just really love its graphics and its story mode. It's just so high gripping adventure, intense adventure, finding treasures and like with Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake is one of the most memorable characters, uh, uh, memorable characters in the Uncharted series. It's just that I just really love its soundtrack and like and its gameplay. It's just really solid. All the, all like the climbing scenes, all the, like, the, a lot of things. It, it's a really good ending to Nathan Drake, but, like, it was really, really fun. I, I had a great experience on this game. Hot, a gripping explosion, explosion a action adventure. I just really love action games. It's just really, really fun. Really solid. It's so much fun, this game. I highly recommend you this game. I just really love its graphics, gameplay, AI. It was really, really fun. Great game. Anyway, here we go. Number 18 on this list. Number 18 on this list, baby, goes to Horizon Zero Dawn. I got this game when it first released, of course. And oh my gosh. This game is amazing. I love this game so much. Like, it's just that I just really love its gameplay, its graphics. It's just so charming. I really love adventure games. I really love exploring its open world, of course. I re I'm a huge fan of open world games. I just really love its idea and concept with this game. And I'm excited for Horizon Zero Dawn 2 releasing on the, on, on the PlayStation 5, of course, and all that stuff. This game, 
I just really love it, and it has a memorable character. I really love Aloy. I just really like how everything is like combined with like past with futuristic. Really amazing concept. Love its graphics. Love its great gameplay. Love its AI. Love its story mode. And I really like you can customize a character and like and like create se uh, and like choose your skills of course and like crafting items it's just really really fun i love this game so much i'm excited for horizon zero dawn 2 please do not disappoint me gorilla please do not disappoint me i love you i love this game you guys are my saviors 10 out of 10 this game love this game highly recommend you guys if you guys do not have this game recommend you it get this game so much fun love it all right number 17 on this list here Number 17 on this list. The next game, number 17 on this list, Ghost belongs to, well, if you guys don't know, it's a blank case, and I hope you guys can see this game, but this game is Bully, Bully Scholarship Edition. I remember the first time I played this game at, like, uh, when, when her friend, when my sister's friends were here, I had a blast with this game. But, and then I got this game. I still, I'm still having a blast with this game. I just really love, I really love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Bully is like, I just really love his idea. Like, it's like GTA in a school. Now I really love Jimmy Hopkins, memorable characters. It's just really, really fun. Love its open world. I just really like you can go to classes, of course, and all that stuff. Like go to history. Go to um, English class. Go to a lot of classes in this game. Like it just adds a lot of challenge into this game. Like I really like you can customize Jimmy Hopkins. I really like you can like be with uh, with factions in this game, beating up beating up people of course in all, in this game. And like I just really like you can like tag graffitis. There's just a lot of things you can do. Little details you can do like. Tag graffitis. You can do side missions. You can like, like have girlfriends and all that stuff. Like, what else you can do on this game? Like, it's just so much fun and addicting. This game, like pulling fire alarms, causing trouble in this game. This guy, this game is so much fun. I love this game. I can't wait for Bully Two. Hope they make this, please. I love, I love Bully so much. I highly recommend you getting this game. I love this. I love the gameplay. I love the AI. I just like the graphics. I like the graphics. It, it, it's it's a it's a great it's a great time. It's so much fun. This game, I love it so much. I highly recommend you it. Get this game if you guys got a three sixty or an Xbox One. It's BC. Okay, number sixteen on this list is it list is next. Number 16 on this list belongs to... Boom! Well, this is a collection if you're wondering, guys. But, like, I'm not gonna add all games in this, but, like, I, but here you go. Number 16 belongs to Bioshock 1. Bioshock 1. Oh, God, I love that game so much. Bioshock 1, like, I gotta tell you why I love that game so much. Well... If you're wondering, this is a remastered collection. Like, you can play this on the Xbox One and the PlayStation. It's remastered, if you're wondering. But anyway, Bioshock 1. It's a terrific game. I just love its graphics and its gameplay and its AI. I just really like... I just really like you. It, like it's combined with, like, a horror game and, like, a first-person shooter. Well, I'm not a huge fan of horror, but I am a huge fan of first-person shooter games. And, like... Adventure open world games. Well, it is a little bit open world, but like I just really love its story and like it's really captivating It's really touching its gameplay and like I just really like you can rescue little sisters like Do a lot of things on that game like finding diaries and like getting plasmids using power-ups and like It's just really really fun Bioshock 1 you do like a lot of things like you up upgrade your weapons, like protect yourself from the uh, from the plasmids. 
Well, it, you, well, it's not that scary, but it is scary, like, I guess a little bit on the cutscenes and, like, a, like the environment. The environment also fits really well. I really love its idea. Rapture. It's a, it's a nice city, a nice underwater city. And Andrew Ryan, one of the best villains of all time, I gotta say. Andrew Ryan, what, like, the founder of Rapture, if you're wondering, and, like... I just really love its graphics and game gameplay and AI. It's so touching the story. I really love this game. Bioshock 1. Oh my lord, I love this game. But anyway, stay tuned for n uh, number 15. 15 belongs to Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite. I hope you can see it right there. I'm just going to get you the disc. Hold on, let me get you the disc of Bioshock Infinite since it comes with two discs. We can see it right there. That's Bioshock Infinite. Bam. Man. I love Bioshock Infinite. It's actually my favorite of the series. One of my favorite games of all time. I do love Bioshock 1, but Infinite was improvement. Like, even though it doesn't have little sisters, nor like, plasmids, nor anything. It is like a normal world. Like, it takes place in 1912, of course. And like, 1912? What was that? I think it is. And, like, I just really love its story. Like, you can use your power-ups and all that stuff. It's just, the graphics are just incredible. I love that game. And, like, the AI, getting a lot of things, like, getting supplies, surviving. It's just so memorable, that game. I gotta get, I gotta get more deep into that game, Bioshock Infinite. But it is amazing. I love that game so much. I just really love it. I highly recommend you it. If you guys, if you guys get this, I highly, I highly re recommend you getting this. If you guys want to revisit the Bioshock series, which Bioshock comes back again. I really miss you, Bioshock. I love you. Love you, Bioshock. Bioshock Two is great, but like not one of the best games of all time. But it is a great game, though. I'm not saying it's terrible or anything, but it's the lesser of the series of Bioshock. But it's a great game. But anyway. Let's just forget about that. Let's just go to number 14, I think, or 15. No, I think it's 14. Yep, I was right. Number 14. Number 14 on this list belongs to Boom. Forza Motorsport 7. Oh, my Lord. I really love Forza games so much because let me tell you something. They're improving graphics. They're improving gameplay. They're just improving a lot of things. Oh, man. Forza Motorsport 7 is like... The realistic one is like the realistic Forza games when it comes to motorsport. And like, it's just a lot of things in Forza Motorsport 7. Like, you can customize a character. I just really love its gameplay. It's just so solid. It's so realistic. I love you can customize your cars. I really like, like, there's a lot of cars. There's a lot of uh, options. There's a lot of content on this game. It's so addicting. One of the best racing series of all time, Forza. Love this game so much. I just really love it. And like, you can customize your car, your wheels, your ride, adding spoilers, upgrading your car. The soundtrack is just so darn great. Love this game so much. I just love it. Love Forza Motorsport 7. Anyway, here we go. Number 13 on that list will be next. Number 13 on this list belongs to Boom, Forza Horizon 4. I'm just going to say it every single time, Forza is improving games. Horizon, uh, Forza Horizon series is actually better than Motorsport, in my opinion. But because, let me tell you something, it's just so open world. I love its open world. It's just so beautiful. Seeing your environment and all stuff. This game is my favorite of the Horizon series, uh, of the Forza games, and my favorite Horizon series, and one of my favorite games of all time. I just really love, it's one of the best racing games I've played so far, um, Forza Horizon 4. I just really love its gameplay, the graphics, the gameplay, the AI, customization, a lot of cars, love the soundtrack, love the, I love the seasons changing, and this game is so much fun. I hope they make the I hope they make the fifth game on this. Please make it Japan. And of course, love this game so much. 
Love its DLCs. It's just so much content, so much fun. And never play the online, but the online, I heard it's amazing, of course, and all that stuff. So much fun. Love this game so much. I just love it. Really love that game so much. I could play that any day. But anyway, here we go. Number 12 on this list. Number 12 on this list belongs to Pac-Man. Pac-Man, it's so much fun. It's one of the greatest arcade games. Like, it's so much fun. Like, love its difficulty spikes. I just feel like, like you just strategize yourself to get all the dots, get all your points, ranking up your points. And like, the AI is also good. It's really challenging at times. I just really like, it's colorful Pac-Man, like, like, I'm not, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about like the, like, like the, I'm talking about the original Pac-Man. The original Pac-Man on the arcades. So much fun, super addicting. It's so much fun. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's really, really fun and challenging. So much fun. I, I, and plus, I also have it on the bundle thing where I set of the Pac-Man Championship Edition thing. And it's a classic. 10 out of 10. Love that game so much. But anyway, get ready for number 11, okay? <laughs> number 11 on this list has belongs to Mario Kart DS. That was my childhood back then. Uh, that was my childhood. I played that game so many times on my DS or my 3DS when I used to have it. It was super addicting. I just really love that game. Cause let me tell you why I love that game, Mario Kart DS. Like, you do like you you do like uh, there's a lot of like mi there's missions right there that are really fun. Like for example, like you earn stars, of course, like missions. Like you can customize your little like logo thing on your carts. You race. Love it. Love the soundtracks. The soundtrack. The gameplay. The AI. The what else I love about that game. There's just a lot of things I love that game. Love like the challenges, like you do balloon things, you like collect the shine, the, the shining things, shining star thing, the star things, and like what else? Um, love the soundtrack, a lot of good options of characters, good options of characters. It's just so much fun. There's a lot of good maps, of course, in Mario Kart DS. It's one of my favorite, it's actually my favorite Mario Kart game of all time. Mario Kart DS. So much fun. I love the game. Like, I grew up with that. I had so much fun. So many fun memories about it. I just love the game. I just love that game. Anyway, here we go. Number 10 on the list. 10 belongs to Contra. Oh, my lord. That... Oh, man. I love that game so much. Like, it's one of my favorite... Arcade games of all time and all that stuff. It's just really fun and addicting. Love the soundtrack. Bill Riser, of course. And of course the Konami code. Well, I never used the Konami code, but a lot of people love the Konami code. And like, rest in peace to the, uh, to the guy who made the Konami code. But like, Contra, it's just that it's so much fun. Love you can, it, it, love you can like change power-ups for your weapons. It's just so much fun. It's really, really fun arcade game and like it's really really fun it's it's so much fun really challenging i love that game i love that game i highly recommend you playing that game if you guys never played it but anyway here we go on to number nine <laughs> number nine on, on this list belongs to gta 5 gta 5 it's one of my favorite gta games of all time but anyway, here we go. I have a digital and all that stuff. But anyway, here we go. GTA 5. I had a blast with that game. It's so addicting. But I never, I never played the online mode yet. The uh, but I heard it's really really fun. And all this, of course, the online mode. Well, of course, it is really toxic. The online mode. But let me tell you something. That game I really love. GTA 5. I just really love the graphics, the gameplay, the AI, the open world the the idea of the three characters the story is also really good as well soundtrack is okay it, it, uh, soundtrack is is great but like not not the best like the other gta games but like gta 5 it's just that oh my lord it, they have memorable characters like like trevor is so memorable uh, trevor phillips like everyone loves Tre trevor phillips 
and like you do like get uh, what what else you do like I just love this open world screwing up with uh, uh, screwing up with uh, doing causing trouble on that game and like what else um it's so much fun I I, I just it's so much fun. I love that game. And it's just so much fun. But anyway, here we go. Number eight on the list. <laughs> Number eight uh, belongs to Smash Bros. Ultimate. I play this a lot, a lot of times on my Switch. It's super addicting. I'm so stuck on this game. It's one of my favorite Switch games of all time, if you're wondering. And my favorite and one of my favorite games of all time. Well, I never played Smash, um, I never played the, the, like, Smash 64, of course, and all stuff. I did play, like, Smash Brawl, and I probably did Smash 4. Smash Ultimate was an improvement. I love that game. Smash Ultimate, it's just that I love the graphics, I love the gameplay. You got a lot of options on choosing your characters, a lot of maps, a lot of... I, I really like how they added the story mode. The story mode was also good. Spirits, it's just a big improvement. The online is so addicting. It's just so much fun. I love this game. I just love that game. Highly recommend you it if you guys do not have that game. Love the graphics, gameplay, AI. It's so much fun. It's just so much fun. I love that game. But anyway, here we go. Number seven on this list. Number seven belongs to a game that I love so much. It's so addicting. I, 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 I love so much, it has a touching story of course, it's so memorable, so sad of course, and it bro it's so emotional, and the game I'm talking about is boom, The Last of Us Remastered. Oh my lord, I love this game so much, I love this, like, it's, well, I never played the original, but this is remastered of course, which, it, it's an improvement on the original, well, it is the original. Uh, well, it is the first game, uh, but it is remastered. They like they brought it up to the PlayStation, the PlayStation Four. It's a PlayStation Three game, um, The Last of Us, but then they poured it on the PlayStation Four remastered. It's so it's so much fun. I love this game. Love the soundtrack. Love the gameplay. Love the graphics. The story mode. It has a great ending. They have memorable characters. I love the post apocalyptic uh, post apocalyptic world. It's just so. So much fun. I love this game. It's just that as a touching story. I just really love the characters. It's so much fun. I highly recommend you getting this game if you guys do not have this game on your PlayStation. And I'm excited for the sequel, baby. Please don't disappoint me. Not you, dog. I'm excited for you. I love you, Last of Us. I love The Last of Us. But anyway, here we go. Number six on the list. Number six belongs to Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. Oh, oh boy. Love this game. So addicting. I just really love it's so much fun. One of my favorite games of all time. Like, I gotta say why I love that game. Let me tell you why. I just love its open world. I love its gameplay. It's so solid. I love its idea. They introduced Cappy. Pauline, of course, uh, I, I really like this, I uh, really love the soundtrack, it's so colorful, so memorable, it's so much fun, love the story mode, I real. it's real like, say, it's like, it's like a combination between, uh, like, like, uh, Mario 64, and, and, like, Mario Galaxy and all that stuff, it's so much fun, love its soundtrack, it's so addicting, I love this game, I like the online mode as well, like, where you pop balloons, of course, it's really fun. It's really, really fun. Love this game. Highly recommend you guys, you guys do not have it on your Switch, baby. But anyway, here we go. Next, number five. <laughs> number five on this list belongs to Boom. Yes. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well, if you're wondering, I have not... Wait, well, I did play the original Zelda one, like the NES one. We, uh, well, not on the NES, but like, was it like the NES app or something on the Switch? It was fun as well. It was really fun. I gotta be honest. Well, I wasn't a huge Zelda fan, but when I played this game, this game, well, well, not before the, not the original Zelda. Well, I played the original Zelda like, uh, like, I don't know when, like maybe after when I played this game, but like, this is my first Zelda game and boy howdy, this turned me into a Zelda fan. 
Love this game so much. It's so memorable. Love this. It's it has a touching story, like intense gameplay. It's really colorful. The soundtrack is amazing. Big open world. A lot of things to do. A lot of lot of content. So much fun. Like you like crafting items. It's so much fun. Like oh my lord. It's just it's really colorful. Very vi vibrant. I just love this game. Love its touching story. I love this game. I can't wait for the sequel on this game, BLTW2. Uh, it's just it's a lot of things to do, a lot, a lot of content. Love the game. Love Breath of the Wild so much. I can play that any day, sometime. But anyway, we're down to the last four. Anyway, here we go. Number four on the list is next. <laughs> the number four spot belongs to Boom. Well, this is bland case, but this. Hope you can see it right here. Red Dead Redemption 1, and with Undead Nightmare. Well, Undead Nightmare is the DLC, but I gotta be on. I gotta be very biased on this game. This game is amazing. Love this game. One of my favorite games of all time. One of the best Rockstar games I've played so far. I love this game so much. It's just that I love its open world. I love its gameplay. John Marsh is so memorable. So addicting. Like, you do a lot of things on this game, like you buy weapons, you, like, you drink, like, you go to bars, do bar fights, do fighting, of course, robbing, <laughs> karma, it's, it's, it's so, uh, it's, I got, what can I say about this game? This game's amazing, I love its gameplay, love its graphics, love, love the AI, the story is also great as well, love this game, love this game, really love it. Anyway, we're on to the number three spot. Here we go. We're going for the Bronze League for the games I got here. For one of my favorite games of all time. But anyway, here we go. Number three. <laughs> number three. Here we go. For third place for the, bron uh, for the Bronze right here. For Bronze. For Bronze here. Here we go. Number three spot is Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh my lord. Love this game, so much fun, so addicting, love, uh, like, you can ride horses, love the open world, love the graphics, love the gameplay, it's an improvement on the first game. Like, you do a lot of things on this game, like, you do, you go hunting, you skin animals, you, um, you find, uh, you find, like, you find, like, easter eggs, and, like, love the story, the graphics, it's so touching, the story, so memorable, so emotional. And like, it's so solid, the gameplay. Love this game so much. I love it. And the characters are very, very memorable. Here we go. Love this game. Here we go. We're on to the number two spot. So, uh, second place right there for the silver spot. You going for the silver, baby. Here we go. The Here we go. Let's do this. Number two on the list. Number two on this list. Belongs to, well, if you're wondering, this is a bland case right there, but anyway, here we go. Number two on this list has to be GTA 4, with also episodes from Liberty City. Well, if you're wondering, episodes from Liberty City is the DLC for GTA 4. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tired right there, because I was speaking too, long, speaking too much. But anyway... <sighs> Love this game. Love, love GTA 4 so much. I can play that game anytime. Nico Bellic, such a memorable character. Uh, such a memorable character. I love the characters. I love the gameplay. It's so solid. Love the graphics. Love the AI. There's a lot of memes on this game. A lot of memes. Like, like Roland Bellic is a huge meme on this game. And I really love that. And I really love the, uh, the Battle Gay Tony and the Lost in the Dam. Like, it continues on with the story, of course, with like, you know, the cutscenes, of course, like you've seen on the cutscenes on G GTA 4. But, love the open world, love the soundtrack, love everything on this game. Love GTA 4, love this game so much. And I also love the story. One of my favorite, one of my favorite games of all time. And now we're on for the number one, baby. Get ready for the number one. Get ready for the number one, baby. Because this is my favorite game of all time. And I love this game, so get re get yourselves ready. Better get ready, baby! And the number one 
best game of all time has to be, drum roll please, Oh yeah, bland case right there, but you get it. San Andreas, GTA San Andreas, my boy, Big Smoke. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey, Big Smoke, he's it's Carl, chill, chill! CJ. Oh, my dog, what's up? What's up? I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. All right. All we have to do was follow the damn train, CJ. All we have to do was follow the damn train, CJ. How are you in the water? All right. What do you mean? Can I swim? Can you swim well? All right. Uh, no, I can't. No, I can't. All right. And then, what's next? Um, oh, when I'm gone, everyone's going to remember my name. Big Smoke. Oh. Oh. oh, my Lord. I love this game so much. love this game. This is my favorite game of all time because let me tell you why. I love this game. Memorable characters. A lot of memes right here, a lot of great quotes on this game. Memorable characters, graphics, gameplay, and like a ton of lot a ton of content and fun. A big open world, a lot of cities, an amazing soundtrack. And you can go to Cluck and Bell, go to uh, go go to restaurants, go to casinos, have girlfriends on this game. Do I need to say more about this game? This game is my favorite game of all time. This is like the legends right there. The legends of the GTA games. Because uh, let me tell you something. Like this is like the, this this takes place in uh, this takes place in Los Santos in 1992, 92 was it? Or it, it is well if you're wondering it it, it it did fit well with the real life thing uh, theme and all this stuff like you know with gangsters and all this stuff this game, I love this game so much. This game is so good. Love this game. One of my favorite games of all time. Easily one of my favorite GTA game. I have to be honest right there. One of my favorite games. Uh, this is my favorite game of all time. And I'm being biased right there. Love that game. I could play that game any day right now. I love you can tag graffitis. You can do a lot of stuff in this game. This game does a lot of, does a lot of things. This game is better than 5. This game is better than GTA 5. But anyway, here we go. That's all my games of my favorite games of all time. If you're wondering, I'm going to see this again. This is my opinion, okay? This is my opinion. I respect your opinions. And I, well, I know you guys are going to be pissed on, uh, on it. But if you're wondering, this is my opinion. I understand. I, I, I. I respect your opinions, and of course, there's other games that you guys are going to be recommending me that I should put on, on the list. But, if I play more games and all that stuff, then I'll make it 100 best games of all time. But, listen, I know it was really hard to decide, if you're wondering, it's really hard decision making. Because, there's a lot of great games, that, like, a lot of games were that revolutionized, and all that stuff. Just so much, so much thinking. It's just very debatable, but like, it's just that I love it. Uh, um, it's just that it's just really hard to decide. But anyway, this is my opinion. This is my opinion, okay? But anyway, so that's it for the top 25 best games of all time. Interested? Smash the like and subscribe button to get notified for more great content. Comment down below if you like this, if you like the video or not. Let me know in the comment section down below. If, if you guys agree with me or disagree with me, let me know if you guys are in between the middle. But anyway, send me some games. Uh, set, tell me in the comment section down below other games that you that other games that you love and other game. If I if I should make a uh, top 100 best games of all time list, I was thinking to do that and like 
I have to explain every single detail on every single game, why I love it, and all that stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys respect my opinion and all that stuff. But this is my opinion, okay? But Luciano's out. Lights out, Alice. Sayonara. Goodbye, boys. Yeah.